Beautiful, magical Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. I am here with the Lightworker and Starseed cards because I always pull these first for you all. And then I'll go to the traditional tarot to get your more earthy side. But you know, with Sag, I have to look, I have to look at like both sides. You all are very multidimensional, as you know. So I look at like your light worker mission and how that's affecting your life. And then I go over to your earth life and we look at the more earthy side of things and try to put all of that together. It's not always easy being so multidimensional. <laughs> okay. So let's see what's coming here, Sag. These cards don't like to spread, so let's just do it like this. Let's see what's coming, Sag, for you. I like to always pull them by feel because I get additional meaning in this way. And this is for all of you empaths and starseeds, um, multidimensional beings. You know, I know when I'm reading for Sagittarius, I am reading for a lot of very intuitive, very gifted, very highly gifted spiritual beings. So thank you for being here. And also thank you for all of your nice comments. I read all of your comments to Chippy <laughs> and Sparky. And um, your comments are always so interesting. Like somebody said last time, um, Sagittarius is the only mythological being in the whole zodiac. Let that sink in. I was like, yeah, like seriously, that was a great comment. It's so true. I believe we're the only ones that have um, a weapon <laughs> as well. So there we go. A bow and arrow, you know, very highly protective beings. We can be fiercely loyal and fiercely protective of our loved ones. And also happy, well, there's a pair. Also happy birthday, Sag, happy birthday. You know, I'm Sagittarius too, so I'm really uh, loving this month. This whole December thing like fits me well. And last night it snowed. Can you see the snow out the window? <laughs> it's this one. Okay, let's see what we've got here, Sag. We'll do this and then we'll do some clarification, like I said, with the traditional tarot and we'll get you lots of meaning. We'll do the deep dive, okay? So we've got star bathing. Um, this is taking care of your light body. And this is exactly what I was talking about. You guys are multidimensional. You got your earth body, you got your light body, uh, you got your spiritual body. There's a lot going on, Sag, as you know. <laughs> this is about being in the crystal grid, transmission and activation. Okay, you can see all those lights coming up. Activation, and I think a lot of you are being activated at this time, you know, literal um, upgrades. You can feel your energy upgrading and you're not the same as you were a year ago or even six months ago. I think you all can feel the difference, you know. Here we've got whale and orcas. And I know a lot of you, myself included, really vibe with the whales and orcas. And this is about sound frequency. This is about um, you all using your voice, using any kind of frequency or um, like frequency and healing or light work, being very sensitive yourselves to all kinds of frequencies. It's funny, I don't know if you heard that beep in the other room that came through in the uh, probably didn't come through my microphone, but right when I said sensitive to sound, <laughs> I had the beep went off in the other room. It's funny. Yeah, things happen like that in these readings. You know, it's like um, we're working with the elements here. You know, we affect things that are around us. We affect um, what happens and other things around us respond to our frequency. I'm sure you all have noticed that. You know, I'm talking about electronics, numbers, um, nature animals, all kinds of things, you know, really are affected by us and we are affected by it as well. So sound frequency, share your song, take the deep dive. And this is frequency of sound. Lots of frequencies out there these days, lots and lots of frequencies. So I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, and I know some of you are deeply affected by it and also some of you are using it for healing purposes. So, you know, it can go a lot of different ways. This is um, some of your feeling, and this is kind of in your aura at this time, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders, okay? 
This is about setting boundaries, letting go of what's not yours, um, being able to know the difference and just relax, just relax. Uh, the more you set the boundaries, the more you can relax because you're not taking on other people's things. And as an empath, sometimes we have to be reminded of that when we're an empath because we do tend to do that. And right now, as I'm saying that, I'm hearing this really high pitched sound it just started right when I was talking about boundaries and uh, lightening your load and all of that, um, not carrying other people's stuff around. Got this really high pitch. I told you the frequencies, <laughs> the frequencies are crazy today. On a whole tangent here, do you all ever hear the hum? You know what I'm talking about, the hum, like the earth hum? It's actually a thing, you can look it up if you don't know about it. Um, I'm not hearing it as much as I used to, but it used to really drive me crazy there for a while. And it, it sounds like machinery that's running in the air. Like you can't pinpoint where it is. I used to drive out and try to find it because it would start up around 11 o'clock at night when I would want to go to sleep and it would go till about four in the morning. And there for a while, back in around 2013 or 14, it was so loud. I mean, it, it would literally make my teeth hurt. That's how sensitive I was to it. And it seemed like only women could hear it and not men as much. For some reason, it affected women's bodies more. And um, a few people I knew were hearing it too. And we were all trying to figure out what it was. There's a bunch of reports on it. You can actually look it up um, online, the hum. <laughs> yeah, anyway, frequencies. So this is the Star Brothers card. This comes up every time I read for you guys, Sag. This is about the Horus, H-O-R-U-S, Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. And this is your star brothers, or I want to say star sisters as well, um, that are going to be, or already are, in your energy, you know, coming in to, you know, protect you, make you feel not so alone. Because a lot of times when you're a light worker, you might be feeling really isolated because we're spread out all over the planet, all over the universe, really. You know, we're not all in one place, so it can be kind of a lonely ride sometimes. But here they are. Um, lots of star brothers and star sisters and in that Horus energy. Uh, very intuitive energy, I might add. <laughs> so here's what's kind of coming up in your future, which is this week into the end of this month um, is the general time frame. You are a star keeper, and I think you're going to be connecting more and more with, yeah, I'm, I'm getting like this huge wave of goosebumps while I'm reading this right now. Um, you're going to be connecting more and more with the stars, with your star beings, with um, why you're here. Some of you might be like, why am I, Why was I dropped off on this planet anyway? <laughs> you know, Sagittarius in particular is really feeling a lot of that these days. This is about um, you being a cos cosmic ancestor. You are one of the cosmic ancestors and also you're a star keeper, so you are being visited by star ancestors as well. And this is about seed the light by staying grounded. So we're supposed to be here, we're supposed to be here at this time. And you, just by your presence here, you are sprinkling light um, everywhere, everywhere you go. Sometimes star seeds find themselves, and light workers find themselves in situations that are, quote, bad. And they're like, you know, I'm doing all this spiritual work. Why did I end up in that situation? And the answer is because you were there to bring your light. Because in that, quote, bad situation, um, it could have been worse. You know, you being in the light at that time, just as a light worker, you have the ability to calm things down. I know um, a few years back, I found myself next to this truck that was full of explosives on the highway at a stoplight and I got really nervous. I couldn't get away from it because I was blocked in traffic. I was literally right beside of it. It was over here and it was started smoking and all this stuff. I was so nervous and finally the light changed and I was able to get away from it. And later that night I looked it up and literally it was on the news. It had almost blown up next to a um, child care center. And I, I really had talked to my angels about this and I was like, why did you place me next to this truck? Here I am doing all this spiritual work and seriously, I can't be more protected than that. And they're like, you were protected. You were, nothing happened, right? 
I was like, well, that's true. They're like, yeah, so, you, you know, your light kept that from blowing up at that child care center. It almost blew up. There was a threat for sure. Had you not been there, it could have been a lot, a lot worse. And that just made, it's one of those things that will stick with me forever. You know, I'm like, oh, it was like one of those aha moments because it was really scary. I really thought that truck was going to blow up right next to my car, you know, and I was in a small car at the time. Um, not that a car made a difference, but it was really scary. So we are bringing our light. That's what I'm trying to say. You may have found yourself in various situations where you're wondering, like, why am I not more protected and things like that. It's because you're there to protect others. That's, that's some of your mission. You all have dual missions. You have your star and light worker mission and you have your earth mission, which we're going to get to. Sorry about the tangent, but I, someone needed to hear that. <laughs> There's some reason they put that there for me um, to tell you about. Boy, they bring this up a lot. This card comes up a lot for you guys, Sag. The ley lines, the activated earth. Trust where you're being led. So if they're leading you to move or they're leading you to go somewhere or vacation or to visit somewhere or be somewhere um, or even to move things around in your particular house or apartment wherever you live, it could be because of ley lines that are in the earth. Again, frequencies and all those things really affect light workers and we affect them. So um, keep that in mind. I'll see what else, if they have anything else to say about that, okay? Now, one of the things that I feel like you are sort of maybe dreading in some ways this winter, this is sort of in the position of hopes and fears, and I don't think this is a hope. This is the void. And this is about stop and embrace the winter. And of course, here we are, we're in winter. No accidents that this card came up. Uh, some of you might just be feeling like, uh, uh oh, January's coming. You know, December's great, but January, not so much. And this is about being in the great cosmic womb. This is about rebirth. This is about especially you, Sag. This is about you rebirthing during that time. So try to take it in stride. It's on its way in. And I think the best we can do with it is to get into our creative selves. Okay. At this time, it is a resting and hibernating and rebirthing kind of process, you know, at that time. Now here is your, this is interesting. Wow. Here, I don't think this has come up before. I use these cards a lot for you guys, Sad. This hasn't come up before. And this is um, your final outcome for this snapshot in time. This is karmic relationships. I'm going to get some clarification on this one, but um, karmic relationships. This is your final outcome in this spread. Um, Orion energy, polarity, soul growth. I know a lot of you feeling soul growth and conflict. And you can see how these two people are very far apart. They're literally on different planets. Okay. And this may be how some of you are feeling like you're star crossed with somebody. There may be some sort of uh, karmic contracts, like spiritual contracts that you're dealing with at this time. And this is a final outcome. I feel like this is something that's really going to be um, you're coming, you know, you're coming up on and you're dealing with this, you're looking at it at this time and it's very active. You may not even be with this person anymore. This person's way off on a different planet. Okay. But somehow you're still dealing with it. So you're dealing with it energetically, you're dealing with it karmically. And I feel like there's something about being apart from somebody who is very important to you, Sag. But there was such a big chasm between the two of you, you couldn't work this out. And it was because of karma. It was a karmic relationship. And it could be that your person, if your person took off to this other place, this other planet, they could have gotten themselves into a karmic relationship. And that may be what they're working out, but you're over here by yourself. We'll get more on this. Um, but I have seen a lot of Sagittarius dealing with that sort of thing. So which cards do we want to use? Let's go to these. So let's ask more about that while we're on it, that karmic relationship, okay? Let's clarify what, tell us more about that. Polarity, soul growth. I mean, it's obviously for soul growth. What do we need to know? Oh, wow. 
two of cups first thing so this can be for some of you reconciliation this is definitely a couple two of cups has to do with love and relationship two things coming together and here we've got the two people who are not together at that time but clarification is saying might be coming back together let's see what else and that's very much um you know a love and relationship soulmate sort of um card yeah the card of nurturing and growing money and i feel like in some ways the separation had to do with money for some of you for some of you, you just needed a break here's four of swords for some of you, you just needed to um uh pull away from this you just you just couldn't do this anymore i just get like this is you withdrawing okay for some of you you just went i'm done you know you withdrew from it you needed a break you had to take care of yourself hmm. here's the temperance card there you go sagittarius this is your energy sag <laughs> so this is your card and in this karmic relationship um you you're the person i mean you're the one in how do i explain this you're the one that's in this relationship with your fire energy okay um i'm feeling like you're the one who withdrew you know you're in this relationship to protect this person to bring your light to have the spiritual soul love is what they're telling me and with all that fire energy i still feel like this person pulled away from you this person was looking more towards money um, either you or the other person withdrew pulled back your sagittarius energy may have been too much for them they felt like they couldn't keep up they couldn't keep up with your success with your passion um, I feel like that person felt like they weren't on the same planet as you literally and they weren't <laughs> just literally they weren't and somebody had um, a new relationship come in there was some sort of a love offer that came in with this karmic relationship this is knight of cups so either you or your person may have decided to go a different direction okay there was some sort of a different love offer there now keep in mind that love offer could have been the karmic relationship itself that separated you from your person in other words what i'm saying is you or your person may have walked away from a more spiritual relationship not knowing there was a karmic relationship there that had to be worked out could have been with somebody younger that was a page of swords um somebody wanted to cause you trouble too sad somebody was a real troublemaker that page of swords somebody had been spying on you yeah <laughs> somebody totally been spying on you and you may not have known this for a long time uh, that person was causing you a lot of trouble and you didn't even know it some of you didn't even know it some of you did most of you I feel like didn't even know it and this was the karmic this was the karmic energy there somebody here was a queen of Pentacles let me ask more on that sad children who was the queen of Pentacles uh, you were so you're showing up here Sag as Empress and Queen of Pentacles now take it as it resonates some of you this will be a King of Pentacles and an Emperor and this is somebody who's very in charge very much uh, knows what they want very certain about what they want um, this page was no match for you okay so I feel like this was definitely a karmic this is what they're clarifying is the karmic relationship there was a page that came in tried to compete with you couldn't compete so either you pulled away or your person pulled away and somebody here is living out a very karmic relationship meanwhile Sag you're here in your Empress energy you weren't taken down by this um, you've got financial security you know what you want you're materially um, stable you know again we're looking at your earth life here and your more um, energetic life here with this karmic situation you see how all this is intertwined really interesting wow okay <laughs> let's change gears and let's clarify let's clarify cosmic ancestor um, keeper the star keeper 
seed the light by staying grounded. Maybe some of you find yourself in a turbulent situation because you're a light worker. Let me ask about that. Because you are the star keeper. So, Sag, what do you need to know about the star keeper? How is it affecting your earth life? Whoa, competition came up right off the bat. Five of Wands. Hold on a minute. Let me get the rest of this. Yeah, you walked away because of competition. You wanted more balance in your life. Oh, you wanted... Some of you were really stuck in a state of limbo with this karmic thing going on around you. Yeah, an unhappy marriage. Wow, they're giving me the whole picture here. You are here to bring your light to the situation. Now, your person may or may not have gotten it. They may be getting it now, which is why there might be somebody wanting a reconciliation with you. Do you wanted more balance in your life? You wanted to focus on your work, Sag. Um, you were placed in a competition with this five of wands. You walked away. Here's eight of cups. Looks like you walked away. You wanted more balance. There may have been a legal situation with this justice card. There may have been a Libra um, in the picture here somewhere. Uh, this is you getting out of the state of limbo. You're like, I'm not going to just be suspended forever in that situation. This is you breaking that state of limbo, focusing on your business, your work, your craft, your light working, whatever you were doing. This is you focusing on it. Um, this brought you great fortune. For a lot of you, Sag, that whole thing turned around in your favor. And there's your wheel of fortune. Here is your two of wands, still new opportunities coming to you. And it came from this upside down commitment that turned into a karmic situation for somebody, probably your person out there living out their karma right now. Um, I'm gonna leave it right there right now. <laughs> this is a lot, we have to dive into this more. Wow, Satch, just wow, <laughs> that's amazing. So just to recap really quickly, star bathing, you are in your crystal grid and your light body. This is where you are. This is who you really are. You are a light worker. And I think most of you know that or you wouldn't be here. You're dealing with a lot of frequencies. You're both putting out frequency and you're dealing with a lot of frequency coming in. You're very sensitive to frequencies and sound and um, there's there's this um, almost urgency to use your sound, use your voice, heal the planet by using your voice at this time. Um, boundaries, set the boundaries, look for your star brothers and sisters. Ley lines, don't forget the ley lines, um, either in your, uh, in your home or go where you're led. They may be leading you places. Uh, get ready for January and Here's this karmic relationships, which again, this was a big deal in this reading, this karmic relationship stuff. Um, I'm hoping I'm gonna come in and do a midweek. I'm gonna definitely look more into this for you guys. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments. I love your comments. <laughs> Sag always leaves like the most interesting comments of all the signs, you know, it's really cool. So anyway, happy birthday to you guys. Um, this, is, this is our time frame. This is December. It's a, it's a good energetic fit for Sagittarius. I hope you all are enjoying it. I know I am, especially with the snow out the window. <laughs> I hope I get more. So you all have a great day. Thanks for coming in and I'll see you again soon.